I'm doing a bit of woodwork today just adapting some of my raised beds and coal frames making them deeper giving things a little bit more clearance and it's so quick and easy I get the wood pre-cut uh, to size uh, at the timber merchants he's just dropped it off today and uh, taking loads of tomatoes and peppers and cucumbers and stuff with him because uh, he's given me a bit of a hand with it all and um, yeah I'll show you what I'm up to so I'm doing a few upgrades to some of my coal frames so this is a strawberry bed that I planted a couple of days ago uh, this bed is too low for strawberries they'll soon hit the top of it and so I need to put an extra layer on which is simplicity itself with my coal frames I just undo these screws which means that this coal frame top just lifts off like that and I just lay two new cross beams on there lean up the back panel and then I just pop in some stainless steel screws now when I first did this I didn't use stainless steel screws and that was a big mistake I used these coated sort of cadmium type uh, and they've all rusted but these are great these go in and out no problems and I'm always making modifications to these frames and screws that you can unscrew make a big difference also just be sure to treat all the cut ends and I just screw in these little braces just so that it doesn't blow away in really high winds so there's one at each corner there you don't actually need that many and then just prop the last piece up this is how I do it when I'm on my own anyway so people are always asking me why I have this divider here and it's really because when you've got a coal frame top on you can't access anything from the back so you have to access everything from the front and that means you've got to have something to kneel on or to lean on in order to reach right over otherwise you end up really hurting your back and my, my back aches anyway so uh, you know I'm at that age when I really need to take care of it and obviously it also just provides a really great brace uh, to make the structure really nice and rigid so last year we noticed that the deep coal frames that we've got performed incredibly well over winter so what we've done is we've up added an extra layer in to some of the coal frames just to increase the air volume and give the plants a bit more height in the hope that we'll get the same results that we got from this uh, deep coal frame down there and so I've had a quite enjoyable time actually doing a bit of woodwork over the last couple of days and uh, what I've also decided to do is raise the level of the low tunnels and these, are, these have got nets on at the moment but they'll have plastic low tunnels over, over them in the winter and that's based on the experience that we've had with growing the peppers and the peppers have just been amazing this year in these low tunnels and so and the reason that they've done so well we think anyway is because we again raised them up um, to let the peppers grow taller and you know when they were younger and obviously they were closed they had more air volume in them so it's worked really nicely these are the deep coal frames and they've been absolutely fantastic and the yield that we get off these is just phenomenal I was working it out the other day and just the yield off these pepper beds has paid for all the wood that I just bought to raise up um, all of these beds so yeah I'm just I'm really I'm really fussy with them they've worked so well and it really has been a fantastic decision to do it again it costs a little bit but for me because we harvest so much cost isn't really that much of an issue pleasure <laughs> enjoyment lack of stress not having a bad back you know these are really the things that uh, drive my decision making and it's really nice to have this plot where everything is optimized for year-round productivity by comparison with Jenny's plot 
which is the winter allotment of activities we think of it, uh, where it's not there's no infrastructure, there's no wood, there's no coal frames, there's no low tunnels or anything like that. It's just planting in the ground. And it's really nice to have that complement. But obviously here, you know, I'm, co I'm concentrating on peppers, tomatoes, and then winter salads, and winter radishes, and winter spinach, and you know, all of that sort of thing. And I've got chard in here for example and obviously chard doesn't need covering for most of the year but in winter and early spring it really really benefits from a cover the quality of the leaves that you get is so much higher and of course you can just keep picking and picking and picking and it just keeps growing whereas uh, chard that's not covered in our location here at least you know it just doesn't keep growing if it's not covered so anyway that's just a quick glimpse at uh, the last couple of days woodwork project <laughs> the guy next door once when i first uh, set this plot up he said to me are you a joiner <laughs> and it feels like that sometimes when you look at this plot that uh, i'm more of a joiner than a gardener but uh, yeah, the results speak for themselves, I think. It is a fantastic, incredibly productive growing environment. In fact, one of the things that we noticed is that um, the peppers in those low tunnels do much better than the peppers in the polytunnel. The polytunnel is about 250 pounds per bed. It's about a thousand pounds for the polytunnel, 250 pounds for each of the be four beds in here. And, um, those little tunnels are, I can't remember exactly, but I think adapted. They're probably about 40 pounds a tunnel. Um, and so they're si a sixth of the price of the polyton and you get just as good a result, if not better result. So um, I, I don't, I love the polyton. It's absolutely fantastic, but um, it just shows that there are other ways to garden year round really productively and grow really good heat loving crops. With that having a polyton, you can do it much simpler with just little low tunnels and coal frames and the like. So, I hope you like this quick video. My name's Steve, this is the Seaside Allotment Channel. It's very hot, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>